Mr. Speaker, I would like to ask CMEs for infrastructure, what plans are in place to guarantee availability of bus services for cruise ship passengers? Thank you. Speaker, there is no guarantee in place that the Department will provide any bus services for cruise ship passengers. The Department for Enterprise has appointed uh, a coordinator, sorry, yeah, the Department of Enterprise has appointed a coordinator to promote the island as a destination for cruise ships and deal with the logistics of their visits. The coordinator establishes what shore excursions are required, offers the work at first to tours and then to the department as the operator of the last resort to provide the rest. <coughs> thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Could you give us slightly more detail on the last part of the answer in terms of the prefer pre preferred um, solution to providing the um, buses and coaches for the cruise ships? Because it was perhaps something that I wasn't fully expecting. And in terms of the relationship with tours, has the minister now had the opportunity to meet with them and talk with them and really come up with a possible solution how tours and bus family can work together going forward? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Yes, indeed, the Department for Enterprise appoints a coordinator to work between the cruise liners and then the and then tours coach operators and then ourselves. Tours, I think, pick up about I think it's about sixty five percent of the uh, business, and then we pick up the rest. Uh, and on occasions, we will work together. I spent an hour and a half yesterday with the uh, managing director of tours, Mr. Mitchell, uh, and we are working together. And I'm sure in the future, yeah, we will have a much better working relationship than has been in the past. But it has been a good relationship in the past. Uh, but it will get even better, I'm sure. I hope. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you for that positive um, talks from yesterday. I think that's really important that we go forward together. In terms of the four cruise ships that will be arriving before the MTT, given the challenges of staffing, when will the all island review of the current services be available? And is this being prepared by the Director of Transport Services? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With regards to the, uh, excuse me, staffing, uh, sorry, the um, the coaches or buses for the, I think you said four cruise liners coming in? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure which shipping cruise, which shipping liners they are, because some of them will not use to us for whatever reason they choose not to, I'm told. Um, but, you know, I'm, I say I don't know who they are, but uh, we will work to that. And if, if we are asked to provide that service, we will do it if we can. And as I said in an interview during the week, our first service is to provide the public service duty. You know, our regular service to uh, get customers around the island uh, and we should make sure that's our first and, first and foremost, that's what we should be doing. As regarding the bus review, that will start, uh, we had a first discussion on it uh, in the department the other week uh, and that will uh, come out to the public domain uh, after TT. Thank you. In terms of the timetable, does that expect to be updated ahead of TT because we usually every five months and if there is any refinement, will it actually take into account the current issues in terms of staffing? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> Apologies if I misunderstood the honourable member. When you were talking about the bus review, I thought you meant the, yeah. the whole bus review, which I promise will happen this year. There will be a review of the service. There always is a review of the TG services, uh, and that will be out in the next couple of days, uh, as ever, just before. And it will take into account um, uh, staffing levels as we see them at the moment and what we can expect to provide. Christian 16, called the only one of the